Welcome to the first in this series of videos aimed at introducing you to the new log range of over 30 sensor data loggers. I use this description of sensor data loggers because each sensor is a microcomputer which can be programmed and it's also a data logger which can store the data. Hi, I'm Alan from Training Systems New Zealand. We represent new log in the New Zealand market. The new log range of over 30 new generation sensor loggers has been designed for education using the best available modern technology. The key attribute of new log that I see is the ease of use. Sensors can be plugged and unplugged easily, the software is intuitive and it operates at the click of a button. I've shown this to a number of secondary schools and during my demonstration science teachers have operated the system and they agree that it is actually very easy to use. Another very important aspect of new log confirmed in a number of my discussions is that it is very well priced. The screen you see right now is the new log software. It's actually collected uh, data on light and sound and uh, when I was pointing the light uh, sensor to up towards my lights and I was actually talking at the same time. In this video I'm actually going to show you how the sensors are connected in the various modes of operation, show you how easy it is and subsequent videos will show data collection and the functionality of the software. To show you the sensors I'm actually going to use the video function within the new log software. This can be used to video experiments uh, synchronized with the collection of data. <coughs> so this is a, a light sensor light is sensed through this hole, it's connected to the computer through a USB bridge through these ports and this is how easy it is to set up. We plug the USB bridge into the a USB port of the computer and we connect the sensor to the USB bridge like so. So now we have a light sensor ready to go and at the click of a button in the software we can measure light intensity. We will set up the duration of the experiment and the sampling rate of course. So that's an online mode. We collect data in real time into, the, into a chart in the computer as you saw earlier. We can connect any number of sensors in a train. I'm, going, I'm just connecting up now a temperature sensor. So now we can do real time experiments with a temperature sensor and a light sensor and we can have up to 50 in the train. Now if we want to do uh, offline experiments, remote experiments, we can in the software choose offline mode, program these two sensors and then connect them up to a battery unit and they can be taken as far away from the computer as you like and experiments started by pressing a little button on each of these sensors and the red light will come on and at the end of the experiment it will go off. At the end of the experiment we take the battery out of the train and we plug it into the USB bridge to the computer, we bring them back to the computer and at the click of a button we can download the data into the chart. The other online mode we have is a remote online and we can connect a radio frequency device to the sensor train and the battery unit and a radio frequency device onto the USB bridge in the computer to the computer. So now we can communicate up to 30 meters away through this USB bridge sorry, through this radio frequency device to the radio frequency device in the sensor train and we can operate in real time from the computer our light sensor, our temperature sensor as long as we have the battery unit in there. So that's uh, an online remote mode if you like. So just to recap, there are three modes of operation. There's online where a sensor, sensor or a train of up to 50 sensors can be connected directly to the USB bridge on the computer, on the laptop, and the experiments run in real time. There's remote online where the same thing can be done but remotely through radio frequency communication and remote offline where the sensors are programmed, connected to the computer and then taken away remotely and experiments run at the push of a button.
Okay, the second in this series is going to show you online experiments and run you through the functionality of the software. I'd like to thank you for your attention.